It's an important and interesting topic to talk about rural employment and involvement of youth in the agriculture sector because that rural sector, the rural area takes most of our Ugandan young people. It doesn't mean that they are going to stay there unless something is done. One is, I usually start with that because everybody learns from home, so charity starts at home. We need to see farms that are profitable. We have to run away from this subsistence thing to more profitable farms. And once the young people see that the farm is profitable, they, they will come and, and try to stay on the farm or to establish farms because they will see the sector is giving them meaningful employment but also income. Two is to look at their interests. And how can you look at the interests for the youth is by organizing them. Because this gives them the voice to speak out about their interests, but also the scale. The scale in terms of harnessing all their potentials together. So the third is looking at uh, skills enhancement. Yes, our curriculums have been totally, there has been a, a mismatch, as we have heard, between uh, what the education is providing and what the market needs. So we need to look at skills enhancement in terms of making it more vocational, especially in the agriculture sector or in the agribusiness sector. Mentoring is needed for these youth. To learn from peer to peer is important. And uh, then uh, incubation. Incubation is that brings in the aspect of entrepreneurship. Then the other one is to look at the policy and will, because these are important. The in policy and and will, I'm saying will 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 be in terms of action. So how are our national rural transformation plans? looking into the aspects of access to finance, succession plans, looking at uh, infrastructure and services in the rural areas, because those are the key things that are going to keep these people there, if they are provided. And the good thing is that the urbanization rate is increasing. So if I'm on a farm and I'm earning money, maybe the town can find me on my, I don't have to move to the town. If we are earning and we are having services, many of these rural areas can even turn into urban, all peri-urban urban, peri -urban areas that some of these youth crave for. So it is important to see that these youth are listen to and have the desire to, to, sh to, to move to the next level. You know, with Africa, there are so many NGO initiatives, and, uh, but these are small, small pockets. So these need to be scaled up, but also there is need to have that coherence in terms of what we do. So, for instance, as you have heard, uh, the BMZ, is uh, has done some good role, in, like in our country, in terms of farmers helping farmers, the one world without hunger, where it is also helping us to build our skills, like our farm organization, uh, trying to build its capacity and see that the skills are built. So, and then there are GIZ is also doing some of those things, but also there are other agri agencies like AgriTerra. It's doing some good role in skills development, in entrepreneurship, in market access, then trias, and um, then other donors are looking at governments. So that, the, my plea is also is to look at some of the formidable youth, all civil society organizations to work with. Sometimes it's not only the governments that will have the food. You know, the priorities might be different. And we have heard that there is a plea of encouraging our African governments to, to inculcate youth employment and, uh, and entrepreneurship into their uh, national development plan.